Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Cody Lewis with uh, InBusy Photography and today I'm going to show you how to uh, touch up skin in Lightroom. Everything is done from Lightroom and this will give you exactly the same results as um, either Photoshop or Portrait Professional or anything like that. But all we're using is Lightroom so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up Lightroom. Import photos. And I'll be taking this from uh, from our raw album, so let's go ahead and find that. Owner pictures raw. Okay, this is the one that I'm actually going to be using right here. So we're going to pull it up, and first off, I want to zoom in to show you um, before. All right, we got some wrinkles uh, we're gonna need to touch up around the forehead and around the, uh, the cheeks and the bottom of the jaw and the tip of the nose so go to your develop module and hit your adjustment brush which is K now over here on effect you're gonna have these drop down menus yeah you'll have seven and then these are um your effects what you're going to do with them so we're already on softened skin and what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start uh going over it hmm, right there now we're going to hover over our black module now everything is red is what i've already gone over So, just going to outline the entire dome piece pretty much. I'm going to go ahead and go into the, uh, the cheeks. Now, it's really important um, what you do with the nose. Obviously, when you get the tip, there's a certain spot, and I was taught this when I, when I was learning how to shoot portraits, that you don't ever want to sharpen, and that's this area right here. Whether uh, if they, this lady has her head turned to the left, um, from the from her face is literally turned to the left. Obviously, in camera, it's going to be right. So, the visible part of her nose on the left side, you're not going to want to uh, to brushing that up. And you see, like for the most part, I have it left out. Uh, let's go ahead. And... Nope, that's way too big. Here we go. Now you you want to make sure that you always touch up the chin because that's a spot that has a is going to have a sharp um, reflection point to it. So I think I might have just got the lips, which is a big no no. But for tutorial's sake, it'll be fine. Okay, and that's actually going to do it, except to make our brush smaller and get underneath the eyebrows. And it's absolutely vital that you do not touch up the eyebrows, because if you soften the eyebrows, it's going to take on a completely different, uh, it'll start to deshape them, and you don't want that. So, let's look at our before, after, before after see that's not bad that's as good as portrait professional that's for sure now let's see what all we did yeah that's not bad but i'll go ahead and touch it up right here yep that's not bad at all it would be a good a good edit and obviously um I'll be putting in a lot more time actually touching up a portrait, but for tutorial's sake, we're just going to go over uh, basically how to do it. And the fact that a lot of people don't know that there is a, a softened skin uh, tool, so you, you no longer have to do it in Photoshop, doing the, you know, raise your sharp, um, your sharps, your Gaussian blur, you no longer have to do that. Because right here you have softened skin. 
and then uh, that's literally it um, so go ahead and try that out if you're already using Lightroom and you don't know about it uh, hopefully that helps you out